Kentucky walkouts from school arrests and historic votes all in Frankfurt. This year it was Kentucky Senate that was the turning point for some of the state's biggest issues. This was probably the most exhausting short session uh, my folks have ever experienced. A jam packed 30 day session for Kentucky lawmakers. Typically short sessions are meant for technical changes, not large sweeping legislation like we saw this year. Kentucky Senate president says even he didn't predict the whirlwind that unfolded. I don't think anybody did and all of a sudden it seemed as uh, a confluence of, of issues came together. First order of business, sign off on dropping the state's income tax from 4.5% in 2023 to 4% in 2024. Next, lawmakers tackled juvenile justice, allocating $17 million to renovate and reopen Louisville's Juvenile Detention Center downtown. It helps keep them grounded so they're close to their families. It protects them and also protects the community. Three bills related to the LGBTQ community sparked heated debates, school walkouts, and protests. Vote them out! The first would have banned some drag shows. It died in the House. So unfortunately, I don't believe that's the last that we've seen of that bill. The other two were blended into a sweeping measure, Senate Bill 150. It bans gender transition services for those under 18, restricts lessons in school on gender identity and sex-related topics, and establishes rules for using preferred pronouns and bathrooms for transgender youth. There's a lot of fear. Uh, there are people who are considering picking up and leaving their jobs and their homes and moving out of state. The ACLU of Kentucky calling the legislation an attack on trans youth. That, that is the furthest from the truth. Uh, we want to have parental involvement to the extent that they understand what is going on. Lawmakers also approved two other big pieces of legislation. A vote aye. Medical marijuana passed its biggest hurdle, a panel of senators, two weeks before the session wrapped. The House confirmed the bill on the final day, allowing it to take effect in 2025. But with that delay, lawmakers can nearly guarantee medical marijuana will resurface in 2024. There's a lot of different things that have to go into it other than saying, oh, let's do it. Within minutes of the House approving medical marijuana, the Senate made another historic vote to legalize sports betting. It's estimated more than $20 million will be generated, but Stivers warns all that money won't go to the state budget. You know, am I a big fan of sports betting? No. Do I think it's going to create and generate a lot of tax revenues? No, but it is something that is taking place. Fans should be able to start placing sports bets sometime this summer. As for what to expect next session, Stiver says it's not easy to predict. Look, every session, as, as we've kind of talked about here, alluded to, develops its own personality. Uh, next year will be a personality of the session probably surrounding the budget. It, it's untelling what issues will come to the forefront uh, in the next nine months.